This sound alarmed thousands of people. Witnesses thought a derailed freight train was about to hit them, but nothing like that ever happened. In the summer of 2013, the sound of a roaring train was heard in Norway, Canada, and Texas. But what could it be? Such inexplicable sounds are recorded by scientists literally all over the planet and even beyond. This video will open your eyes to the following things. What sound can cause a nosebleed? What noise were the Apollo 10 astronauts afraid to talk about? How come there was a roar in the airless void of space? And most importantly, who or what makes the most mysterious and terrifying sounds? The sound of the ocean. It's usually used as a relaxing musical background for meditation. However, there's another sound of the ocean that has kept scientists in suspense for half a century. In the 1960s, it was heard by crew members of submarines sailing in the Pacific Ocean. Some particularly impressionable sailors believed that a giant underwater mutant was emerging from the ocean depths. Others thought it was the quack of an enormous iron duck. Because of this similarity, the mysterious sound was called the bio-duck. And over time, scientists noticed a strange pattern. Every year, from October to December, the sinister quacking disappeared. But why? In 2013, researchers attached sensors to the backs of two whales and recorded everything going on in the ocean depths. To their surprise, it turned out that the bio-duck sound originated from other Antarctic whales before feeding dives. They're like, I'll be back. And here's another mysterious sound that keeps oceanographers on their toes today. In 1991, using hydrophones, they first heard an underwater siren in the South Pacific. Scientists even thought that there was an accident on a nuclear submarine and its nuclear reactor was about to explode. However, there was no explosion, and the underwater siren keeps wailing to this day inexplicably and inexorably. The sound is so powerful that you can hear it throughout the entire ocean. According to geologists, the underwater siren could be the voice of newly awakened volcanoes. And oceanographers have noticed that, just like the bioduck, the siren shows different activity during the year. However, they have no idea what animal could possibly make such a spooky and powerful signal. But the following sounds come from even greater depths than the deepest oceanic trench. What puzzling signals have scientists heard from the bowels of the Earth itself? In the late 90s, oceanographers continued to explore the Pacific Ocean and discovered a new mysterious noise. It was like something seething was rising from the bottom of the ocean, and it instilled superstitious fear in some scientists. After all, it was in this area that a famous science fiction writer, Howard Phillips Lovecraft, placed the lair of the Cthulhu monster, the nightmare city of Ralea. But to avoid unnecessary public alarm, the sound was called just bloop. In their attempt to find its source, oceanographers went through all possible options, including military exercises, ship engines, and giant squids eating sperm whales for breakfast. But none seemed to fit. It took a decade to finally solve the mystery of the bloop sound. Apparently, the sound originated from glacial movements such as an iceberg cracking and breaking away from an Antarctic glacier. But the next mysterious signal is literally beyond our human perception. In the 1990s, seismologists recorded the mysterious tremors of Earth, which created a hum at frequencies of up to 10 hertz, imperceptible to the human ear. But when they amplified the hum, they were shocked. Something tremendous about to break loose from the bowels of Earth. 
At first, scientists reasoned that this must be the tumult of seismic data generated by earthquakes. But even in the days of complete seismic calm, Earth's hum did not disappear. Moreover, according to calculations, it released as much energy as in a six-point earthquake. And in order to find the answer, seismologists had to completely reconsider their views on their science. It sounds totally crazy, but the water column of the ocean itself is constantly pressing on the ocean floor with such overwhelming force that the Earth's crust seems to be turning into a huge organ, and its vibration emits that eerie hum. But the most challenging thing is to find an explanation for the mysterious noises that literally appear out of thin air. These sounds can often be heard right above your head in the sky. I'm warning you, the recording of this enigmatic hum may be unpleasant for some viewers. The sound was called the hum, and its first victims were residents of the British city of Bristol in the 1970s. They thought some unknown acoustic weapon had been used against them. Moreover, for a long time the authorities didn't believe those poor souls, because the hum is so low that only 4% of people can hear it. And the sound made those chosen ones suffer from insomnia, migraines, and even nosebleeds. Although the source of the hum was never found in Bristol, the hum epidemic soon spread to all continents. The creepiest thing is that scientists still don't know what exactly causes this noise. They don't even have a theory. But there's another mysterious sound that can cause inconvenience to literally everyone, not just some people. When you travel in northern latitudes, you can often hear this. You may feel like you're in a Hitchcock movie where maddened birds screech through the air to attack people. But most likely, feathered creatures are also horrified by the so-called northern screech. By mysterious coincidence, it appears only during the northern lights. It's just that this phenomenon illuminates the atmosphere at an altitude of up to 200 kilometers, and there's no way the northern screech could be created in such rarefied air. Unto Lane, a Finnish professor of acoustics, spent 15 years studying this sound. In the search for its source, the scientists put microphones in different places and eventually found out that the northern screech actually originates at an altitude of only 70 meters. According to the findings of Unto, this sound is produced by negatively charged ions, which first accumulate in the atmosphere's inversion layer, and then, during the northern lights, are discharged upward with an eerie screech. Who knows, maybe something like this can explain that wild train sound that hit like a bolt from the blue, as well as the hum. But what is even more mysterious is noise in places where it can't physically originate. How are scientists trying to explain the spookiest sounds recorded in space? In 2016, NASA's astrophysicists were shocked by the recording sent back by the Juno spacecraft during its approach to Jupiter. That absolutely mesmerizing sound made even serious astrophysicists imagine giant whales in Jupiter's clouds for a second. Could that be proof of extraterrestrial life? To figure out the true nature of those sounds, scientists had to rack their brains and study all the logs of the Juno mission. It turned out that the device detected the so-called whale songs exactly at the moment when it was passing through the gas giant's magnetic field at a speed of over 240,000 kilometers per hour. Astrophysicists concluded that when the solar winds collide with Jupiter's magnetic field, electromagnetic effects become so powerful that they rise into the sound range and can be heard. As for me, it sounds like a cop-out from Men in Black, but that's the official version to this day. But the next frightening space sound was recorded much closer to Earth. When the astronauts of the Apollo 10 spacecraft rounded the far side of the moon in May 1969, they were badly frightened by this. Beep. 
This was taking place during the space race at the height of the Cold War, so some astronauts seriously thought that some secret Soviet space weapon was rushing at them. However, NASA didn't detect any other objects nearby. And only after the astronauts returned, the engineers suggested that the moon sound was the ordinary radio interference between the spaceship's command and lunar modules. The possible causes of this problem were eliminated. But two months later, the crew of Apollo 11 also heard the moon sound, and it was coming from the backside of the satellite again. Scientists were at a loss, so when the astronauts returned to Earth, they decided not to tell journalists about this to avoid any kind of widespread panic. Only in 2008 did NASA make public a recording of the moon sound, but no one could explain it, just like half a century ago. It would seem that there can't possibly be any sounds in the very vacuum of space because there's no air. But in 2022, NASA released an audio recording that debunks this misconception. It sounds like an alien beast's roar, or the noise of an approaching alien armada. But it's actually the noise of a supermassive black hole from the Perseus Cluster of Galaxies, located roughly 240 million light-years from Earth. It's just that there's so much gas around this monster that contrary to our conventional ideas, real sound waves roll through space. What if a black hole is actually trying to tell us something, but because of the terrible gravity, one of its words is stretched for thousands of years.